Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the seventh video in the AC Electricity series where we're looking at resistant inductor AC circuits. So we'll do another simulation, uh, this time with an inductor instead of a capacitor, and our light bulb acts as our resistor. We'll talk about the phase of diagrams and then the reactance formula for inductors. So I've set up my sim, um, a simulation like one you've seen before with I've got my um, inductor and AC voltage and this is at my resistor. The AC drives it back and forth and back and forth. We generate a back EMF, remember, on the inductor. And the voltage over the, um, the light bulb is, is the brightness of the bulb, effectively. So we can look at that varying through time. We see it's sinusoidal. It goes up and down and up and down. And we can look at the inductor varying through time. And we see that this also shares the shape. It is um, sinusoidal. Now, they're out of phase with each other. Okay, they're not reaching their peaks and their, and their troughs at the same time. In fact, it looks like the inductor's getting there first. So in this case, we've got that they're out of phase by 90 degrees, which is a quarter of a wave, but the inductor voltage leads the resistance voltage. And this is the current, and you see the current is still in time with the resistance voltage, resistor voltage, okay, just like with our capacitor series. So we have that the... Um, <coughs> Voltage over the resistor is out of phase with the voltage over the inductor. It leads by a quarter of a wave. You can see this is getting to the middle of its um, of the wave, while this is still at the bottom. So it has to get up towards the middle. So it's a quarter of a wave is 90 degrees, and the current is still in phase with the resistor, same as before. Okay, so the only real differences between the capacitor circuit is the capacitor lags by 90 degrees. The inductor leads by 90 degrees. So with our um, phasor diagram, this convention is still, we do the resistor out to the right hand side, and then we put our uh, inductor voltage um, upwards, because remember these are rotating around to the left, or to the anti-clockwise. So if this is going to lead by 90 degrees, it needs to be um, in the upwards direction compared to the resistor, the voltage of the resistor. So if we wanted to, using these two, we could find the supply voltage, the same thing using Pythagoras. So we can move the inductor voltage over there so the vectors are being added to the tail and then work out the supply voltage. Reactance, remember reactance is effectively the same as resistance, but it's the resistance or the, or the, the resistance of a, an inductor or a capacitor to an AC circuit. The symbol for reactance is X and then subscript L to say we're doing it for our inductor and the formula for that is omega times L and omega as we've met before is to do with the frequency of the supply and L is the inductance of the inductor so these are uh, proportional to each other if you have a high frequency you have um, high reactance now that kind of makes sense because remember a inductor it generates a back emf when there's a changing um, current through it a changing flux and a changing current so if you're changing it really fast you're changing the flux a lot and you're going to generate a high back emf it's going to resist the circuit a lot so when we went and looked at capacitors a couple of videos ago we found that high frequency capacitors not much inductive uh, it's not much reactance here high frequency inductors, big, big reactants. And low frequency, the reactants of the inductors small. So sometimes inductors are used the opposite of capacitors. They are used for low pass filters, which let through low frequency signals but block out the high frequency ones. So in summary, we've got a um, phasor diagram for our inductor because the voltage leads by 90 degrees. We have a formula for working out the reactants in an inductor. If we wanted to, we could draw an impedance triangle. It would be the same sh same shapes as the, um, the voltage for the inductor going upwards and the voltage through the resistor going sideways, and we could draw an impedance triangle if we need to, and we might be doing that in our sample calculations in further videos. 